Okay, good morning, welcome to Summer Math Number 27. Summer Math 27. So yesterday we had two pretty challenging um, homework problems. Yeah. Out of art of problem solving. One, the first one uh, asked us what this series was. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 up to 2 and minus 1. Yeah. And it turned out, what did it equal? It's n squared. n squared. And this one, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 all the way up to 2n. And it, it, what did it turn out that it equaled? It's n times n squared. Okay, and what, was, uh, what turned out to be a good and helpful strategy for figuring out what those were. If, well, if you write down if you write down a chart, if, so on this side it's the it's the steps, and this side it's the the, the total. The total. So for this one, so for one term we got two. For two terms we got two plus four. Six. Six. For three terms we got we two got plus four plus six, which is twelve. Twelve, and that helps us see the pattern. Yeah n times n plus 1. 2 is 1 times 2, 6 is 2 times 3, 12 is 3 times 4, and that helped. Yeah. But there's an, turns out there's another way uh, with these series that we can see, so I'll, I'll start with this one. I want to see that this is a square, so we've got our snap cubes, 1 plus 3, let's just do 1 plus 3 plus 5, and what should 1 plus 3 plus 5 add up to? Well, it's going to add up to 9. So that should, 9 is a square, right? It's yeah. a 3 by 3 square. So I'm curious if you can see, maybe you want to come around over here so you're not looking at it upside down. How can we arrange these cubes to make a 3 by 3 square? 1 plus 3 plus 5. Hmm. Well, you could scoot these in and do this. Okay. Very good. That's one good way of doing it. Can you see any other ways? 1 plus 3 plus 5. We're going to try to turn this into a 3 by 3 square. There's lots of ways to do it. Well, you could also do it this way. Oh, interesting. Okay. You can keep the colors together. You can keep the colors together. What if we did one more, even 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7? Which one's 7? Is it the reds? So we're going to try to make this into a 4 by 4 square. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder if... I don't really see any other way to do it. <clears throat> okay. Let's push them together. If we push them together... Do you see any 4 here when we push them together? I see a 4 down here. Ah, okay. So maybe this is the base of a square. What yeah. would be an easy way to make the 4 four across here in that second row? If you took a, took a square down and put it there. Okay. What, what looks like an interesting square to take down and put here, especially if you wanted to keep the colors together? If you put it down here, that square. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to see something. If you fold these down, and if you fold this down, you create a sort of little color chart. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right, now let's see if we can do the same thing with the even numbers. So mm -hmm. we're going to try to create n times n plus 1. That was a good job. n times n. You found a couple ways to do that one, and then... then we found that super sneaky way. Hmm. So now we're going to try to see 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 up to 2n equals n times n plus 1. So let's, two, let's do 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, uh, 6. Sorry, it took me a second to grab those. 2, 4, 6. And we're trying to show that this is something we can make into a 3 by 3 times 4. So maybe a 3 times 4 rectangle. Maybe. If, you, if we tried the same thing, yep. you can fold this down to create a 3 by 4 rectangle. Aha! Uh -huh. Sort of like an... Alright, now would it help? Would, it, would the same thing happen if I added on? What do I need to add on? Uh, 8? Yep, 8. Uh, which one's the 8? Is it the black or the green? Eight. It's the black. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to try to add on the 8, eight, 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 eight to make um, 4 times 5. 
Now, if you put them like this, and I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Better make sure I grabbed. How many was I supposed to grab? I think eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry. So it's like. It's harder when you only grab seven. Yeah. So it's a very similar kind of pattern, right? Yeah. But let me show you a different pattern, too. Mm. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. What do you notice about the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8? Well, three of them are uh, powers of 2. That's true. Do they have any other common properties? They're all, they're all, they're all multiple of 2. They're all multiples of 2, so that means I can break this into two pieces. Okay, one, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, right? Yeah. Now look what happens when I put 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 together. I get a staircase like that. And then you can put the other staircase together to create the rest of it. Yeah, go ahead, create the create the 4 by 5 square here. How am I going to do it? Well, if you create another staircase. Yeah, I got another staircase there. Then you... And you, you, I think you might have to flip it upside down. Okay, go ahead. Where are the black squares going to go? They're going to here. Here, let me just move this out of the way for you. Okay. Black squares go here. These squares. Uh, Look so. at that. Cool. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You can make these really cool patterns. It's like this half and in the mirror. It is. High five. So that's pretty fun. There's there's lots of interesting ways to look at these series and maybe and sometimes you can see really cool geometric patterns. Yeah. Alright, good job this morning.